In this video we will take a closer look at Nmap's various scanning techniques. Depending on the target system to be scanned and its threat detection mechanisms, different scan types are useful. Make sure you watch my video on the TCP 3-way handshake first. If you use a SYN scan, Nmap sends SYN packets to each port to be scanned and if the corresponding port is open, a SYN ACK packet will come back. Nmap then knows that the port is open. In this case, Nmap sends a reset packet to signal that it is not interested in establishing a connection anymore, but the port itself remains open and can potentially be attacked. But how does Nmap know when the port is closed? If a reset packet comes in response instead of a SYN ACK packet, the port is closed and no further communication is needed. If there is no response from the server, Nmap assumes a filtered port. A SYN scan can be performed with a dash lowercase s uppercase s option. However, this method requires root privileges because raw socket access is needed. If you use a TCP connect scan, Nmap will try to establish a regular TCP connection using the three-way handshake. TCP connections that have already been established are normally terminated with a fin packet, but Nmap uses the reset packet to terminate the connection directly. If the server sends a reset packet, the port is closed and if there is no response, it is probably filtered. A TCP connect scan can be performed with a dash lowercase s uppercase t option and does not require root privileges, but usually takes longer than a SYN scan. This quickly becomes apparent when you look at how many messages the two communication partners exchange in the case of a TCP connect scan compared to a SYN scan. During an UDP scan, Nmap sends an UDP packet to each port on the server to be scanned. Nmap adds a small payload to these packets to ensure that the response comes back from the server if the port is open, since no response may be sent if the payload is empty. If the server sends an UDP response, Nmap thinks of it as open. If there is no response from the server, the port is interpreted as either open or filtered. We cannot say for sure whether the port is open or filtered. It is recommended to resend the UDP packet to the port because it might have been lost on the way because after all UDP is a connectionless protocol. If a so-called ICMP port unreachable response is returned, the port is closed. Any other ICMP error that comes back from the server is considered a filtered port. A UDP scan can be performed with the dash lowercase s uppercase u option and does not require root privileges. However, the scan results are not as reliable as a SYN scan or a TCP connect scan because Nmap does not distinguish whether the port is closed or filtered if there is no response. In addition, the UDP packet may have to be sent multiple times because it can get lost on the way to the server. A version scan is used to gather information about the versions of the services on the server. First, Nmap identifies the open ports on the server. Then it attempts to identify the service offered on that port. A version scan can be performed with the dash lowercase s uppercase v option. It takes a long time compared to other scanning techniques, but it does not require brute privileges like the SYN scan. If you add the option dash uppercase O, you may also be able to identify the target's operating system. This is made possible by the specific behavior of different operating systems. For the following scan techniques, we recall the structure of the TCP header. There are six flags that can be set, namely urgent, acknowledge, push, reset, soon, and finish. We can use the value 1 to say that the flag is set and 0 otherwise. In a null scan, Nmap sends a packet to the server with the syn, reset, acknowledge, finish, push and urgent flags all set to 0. RFC 793 states that if the syn, ack and reset flags are set to 0, the communication should look like this. It will respond with a reset flag if the port is closed. There will be no response if the port is open. 
A null scan simply sets all flags to zero. It can be performed with the dash lowercase s uppercase n option. The purpose behind this scan technique, as with the fin scan and the XMAS scan, is to trick stateless firewalls. This is a type of firewall that monitors traffic on a network and decides whether to allow or block packets based on predefined rules. No information about the state of the network connection is taken into account. These firewalls block incoming packets whose syn flag is set to 1 and act flag is set to 0. However, this is not implemented on all operating systems, which is why null scans, fin scans and XMAS scans do not always work. But when they do work, they are not as noticeable and time consuming as other scanning techniques. In a fin scan, Nmap sends a packet to the server with only the fin flag set to 1. A fin scan can be performed with a dash lowercase s uppercase f option. In an XMAS scan, Nmap sends a packet to the server with the urgent, push and finish flags set to 1. An XMAS scan can be performed with the dash lowercase s uppercase x option. If you have any questions regarding these scanning techniques, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.